Hey everyone, Donald here from Otaku no Podcast. Here with a quick follow-up to the video I did a couple months back on how to install the Little Maid Mob mod for Minecraft. Since the time I recorded that video, Minecraft 1.6 came out, which made some major changes to how uh, the Minecraft directory is structured. And in fact, it uh, broke a lot of mods. Uh, and so, uh, actually, it didn't really break them, but you have to... Uh, go through another a different procedure to install them. So um, today I'm going to show you how to uh, upgrade to Minecraft 1.6 and still keep your little maid mob. Um, so first thing you'll need to do is, if you haven't done so already, you'll need to download the new Minecraft launcher. Um, you'll need this to actually download Minecraft 1.6, so just go to minecraft.net slash download, and you want to download the version appropriate for whatever computer you're on. Um, I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to download the Mac version. Now, you're also going to want to download uh, the, a new version of Minecraft Forge. Uh, uh, and again, you know, like I said before, mine, uh, the way to install mods has definitely changed, so you'll need a new version of Forge to go with the new version of Minecraft. So go over here to the Forge Downloads page, and the one I recommend that you get is whatever they have, whatever ver version that they say is recommended. So in this case, it, was, it is uh, for version uh, Minecraft 1.6.2, they recommend version 9.10.0.804 of Forge. So we're gonna go ahead and download that. Now, you notice a new option um, called the installer. You're definitely gonna want this, so go ahead and download the installer. Now also, new versions of Little Maid Mob and Playerform Little Maid have been released. And uh, again, the best thing to do is to go straight to the Japanese uh, Minecraft thread because the English, uh, the, the, the Little Maid Mob thread on the English Minecraft forums always kind of lags behind because the person who started the thread, Kuroneko, doesn't get on very often to update it. And so anyways, uh, here we are at the Minecraft uh, Japan page for Little Maid Mob. So we want to download the new version, and that's MMMLib 162-4 and Little Maid Mob 162-3A. And similarly, we want to go here to the uh, Japanese player form Little Maid thread, and we want to download, there's six downloads that you need. There's this one, player form Little Maid 162.22e. You'll also need mod shoe lib 162.5 version 5c. You'll need the model files, a model for Little Maid mob 162v1c. And you also need the Forge compatibility plugin, that's uh, FML 162 version 3a. And finally, you'll need these two files here. These are more model files for the Little Maid mob. Um, and that's all we have. That's all we need to download. So first thing we want to do is okay. Well, actually, let me sh make sure that we have all the files that we need. So again, you'll need the new version of Minecraft Forge. You'll want the installer, which is actually a jar file. And you'll need uh, the Little Maid Mob files. And uh, I'm assuming that you already have Little Maid Mob installed. If you don't, you'll also want to download the uh, sound pack. The links for all of these are in my previous video on how to install Little Maid Mob. And I'll post a link to that in the show notes here. And finally, you need these six files for Playerform Little Maid. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and uh, next thing we want to do is we want to run the new, the new Minecraft launcher. And the first time you run it, it'll ask you to log in. So you want to go ahead and log in with your Minecraft uh, login. So as you can see, the Minecraft launcher has changed a lot. And so the first time you run it, you just click the big play button, and it's going to go ahead and download and install the new Minecraft 1.6.2, which is the latest version of Minecraft as of the time I record this. So go ahead and let that finish, and you'll see we're launched into Minecraft. Now, now do not 
load your little maid mob world because at this point the mod is not running and if you try and load your world um, it'll erase all of your little maids that you had in your world which you do not want so don't try to open your world just quit and quit for now now it's time to install the new version of forge and to do that we just uh, run the installer jar and you want to t tell it to install client click OK and it's successfully installed now it's time to install the uh, new versions of the little maid mob uh, mods so we want to go ahead and go into your Minecraft directory and again this varies depending on if you're on a PC or a Mac or you're running Linux uh, check my previous uh, install video to, to explain how to get to your Minecraft directory. But once we're there, we want to go into the mods directory here, and we want to take all of the new Little Maid mob and player form Little Maid files and copy them in. Now we need to move um, where the sound files are because Minecraft 1.6 ch significantly changed the way that the uh, resource directory is laid out. Um, previously, when you unpacked the Little Maid Mob sounds, they went into this directory, Resources Mod Sound. Um, we want to move those into this new directory, Assets Sound. So to do that, we just grab the uh, to the the uh, files here, the Amitaro U and the Little Maid Mob, those are from the uh, sound pack. And we want to drag them up and put them up here in Assets Sound. Okay, folks, we're almost done. Now we want to go back into the standard Minecraft launcher, except this time in this profiles window down here, you want to select Forge, and that was newly installed by the Forge launcher. Um, and we want to go ahead and click play because we already logged in, use our existing account. And click the big play button. It's going to need to download a few things, so go ahead and let that go. It'll take a few minutes. Um, you want to ignore this for now because it's basically saying that we. You idiot, you did not delete the uh, old versions of the mods. Uh, but don't worry, we're going to fix that in just a second. Okay, now that that's done, it's time to run Magic Launcher. And I'm using my program launcher called Alf Alfred to do that. But you, you, you should use you know whatever method you, that you normally use to launch programs. You know, Just double-click their icon or, or whatever. And click on the Setup button. Now, under this Environment pull-down, we now have some new entries. There's 162. That's uh, vanilla, you know, unmodded Minecraft 162. But there's also this one, 162 Forge 9.10.0.804, which is Minecraft with the new uh, Forge client installed. You want to go ahead and select that. Now, if you're upgrading, you probably still have the old version of Forge up here in the mod section. You're going to want to either disable that by clicking on the active checkbox or just delete it outright by clicking on remove here. Now, down here in the external mod section, you probably still have the older versions of the um, Little Maid mob files installed. You want to disable those, because otherwise it'll get really, really confused. So we're going to just disable all of the older versions. That's the 1.5.2 versions. And this is why I really like Magic Launcher, because it, it makes um, managing mods using multiple versions of Minecraft so much simpler. So now we only have the 1.6.2 versions of the mods enabled. There is one more thing that we have to do. Uh, up here you want to click the Advanced tab, and in this Parameters box you need to type in the following. You need to type in this, dash D F M L dot ignore patch discrepancies equals true. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the show notes so you can go ahead and copy and paste there. But, and there we go, we're all done. Now it's time to go ahead and log in to Minecraft. 
there you have it. Uh, you can see by the uh, information down here that uh, Minecraft Forge is installed. And if we click the Mods button, you should see here that MMMlib, ModShulib, PlayerForm, all the good stuff is installed. And if we go into our world, there's our maids. All right. Well, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to um, email me or post a comment to this video. And we'll see you next time.